your girl fantasy b i just want to take the freedom of having a little talk with you guys everybody's out there in the struggle doing their thing i just want to say you know don't give up on your hopes and dreams it's really important that you keep pushing even if you're meeting a lot of obstacles and challenges in your path on your path because those challenges and those obstacles are put there for a reason those are the ones, those challenges are the things that are, will shape you to become who you're supposed to be. God, those, God will try and test you. He will not serve everything on a silver platter for you. If it's real lasting success, it will take a lot of hard work, patience, and confidence in yourself and your abilities. It's required from you. And don't let anything or anybody set you back. There's going to be people who try and steal your image. There's going to be people who try and steal your ideas. And they will. There's going to be people who try and steal the way you flow, the way you are. Everything. Because we live in a world of copycats. People, people they see something, they're like, oh, I'm going to take that shit. And they do. So it's really important that you stick to your dreams and stick to that vision and just follow through because it's so easy to get sidetracked. People will intentionally try and break you down. They will murk you so that you will give up. And I'm talking about not just regular people, even industry people will try and break you down because it's how the game is. It's a dirty game. The music industry is a dirty game. Unfortunately, that's how it became now. And that's why we need real artists coming in. No more fake ass artists that's been paid for. Like little puppets. This is what you should say. This is, these motherfuckers, they, sorry that I'm cu uh, swearing, but these motherfuckers, they, they've been paid for. They are more plastic than fucking Barbie. They sold their souls. Kanye even said himself. I sold my soul to the devil. And these guys, what, you think they're just writing it for fun? No, they actually did it. They're, they're, they're giving away their honor, morals, values, everything to be seen on MTV. But a real star, a real star don't have to be on MTV to prove that he or she is a true star. You're a star when you see yourself as a true star. When you know you're a star. Don't let nobody stop you. God is so good. And even, and even if you temporarily are not where you want to be, remember, even if people are temporarily trying to stop you, there is no greater power than God. Nothing can stop God's plans from happening. Nothing. I want you to uh, listen to this new little song I've been writing. It's called Cinderella. It's dedicated to all the ladies who've been in a difficult situation with their guys and their moms or whatever, whatever. I'm getting so emotional. Here it goes. I was there to see the love of my life, to show his whole family that I want to be his future wife. I cooked and I cleaned every day, believe me, I really did I might. Cause me, I do anything for the ones that I like. But my only problem was his evil bitch mom. She never appreciated shit that I did. She was acting like a big fucking kid. She never cooked or she never even cleaned. Your once a week she cooked a meal. Believe me, it was no beef for any veal. It was the cheapest shit the bitch could ever find. Like some rice and liver shit, yo. Start to shiver when I think about how stupid she was acting towards me and her own family. Cinderella, Cinderella. That's what the bitch wanted to yell out, but she knew she couldn't trip out cause a big fella loved a little Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. That's what the bitch wanted to yell out, but she knew she couldn't trip out cause a big fella loved a little Cinderella. Mwah. 
stay 